All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how much uh, you can make as a YouTuber and also uh, what's involved in being a YouTuber and uh, if it's maybe possible for something that you could do and the best way to go about it. Uh, so there's going to be no BS in this video. I'm going to try and get to the point as quickly as possible. I'm not going to try and sugarcoat any, anything. I just want to be completely 100% real with you guys so you know exactly what to expect if you want to be a YouTuber. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to start off with a couple of videos on my channel. So um, if you have a quick look at this video here, this is a video here that I did recently. It's probably around about the average views. This is probably a lower viewed video that I get. And uh, this video here so far has made $270. Uh, let's have a look at another video. So this is slightly more views, this one. Uh, this one's made $743. And we, if we have a look at uh, one of my more viewed videos, this one here has had 1.4 million views. Uh, this one here, we're looking at $6,500. So as you can see, YouTube can be quite a lucrative thing to get into. And you can see why many people want to do it. Uh, then if you have a look at some of the bigger YouTubers, we'll look at Logan Paul here. Uh, and by the way, you can check out any YouTuber. Uh, you go to socialblade.com, type in the YouTuber's name up here, and um, it gives you kind of like an estimation how much money they make. It shows you how much, how many views they're getting. It uh, shows you how many subscribers they've got, how many subscribers they're gaining. Uh, and then it shows you the estimated earnings here, look, every single day. And um, it's only an estimate, guys, and these numbers can vary. You know, so if we look at sort of this day here, look, he's made anywhere from £435 to £7,000 um, in one day. And, you know, this is just an estimate, so it could, it could vary between YouTubers. But as usually, if you look at the higher number, that is closer to the ballpark what you're looking at. Uh, unless it's somebody that's making really controversial content, there's loads of swearing, a lot of gore, a lot of blood and all the stuff you're not really supposed to do on YouTube, uh, then you might be towards this lower end. If, if you behave and you're doing YouTube-friendly content, uh, then you can expect to be on the higher side. Have a look at Mr. Beast, what he's making. He's making an insane amount. He's making, look, £40,000 a day here, £30,000 a day. This is insane. £15 million a year. Now, looking at these bigger YouTubers, it's probably very unrealistic to expect to get anywhere near that. So you've got to look at like the smaller YouTubers. Look at a YouTuber that is doing something that maybe you could do yourself. Now, what's involved and what's the chances of success? Now, there's actually millions and millions and millions of YouTube channels out there. And almost none of, almost none of them make any money at all. There's not many channels out there. If you look at the channels that actually make a living... It's like, it's under 1%. It's like almost nobody makes a living with YouTube. So I'm not saying this to put you off. I'm saying this to be realistic. Uh, but it is absolutely a viable thing that you could do if you take it seriously. And that's where the big thing comes in, is if you take it seriously. And by seriously, I mean treating it like a full-time job. If you're just going to upload one video a week, and you're not going to spend much time editing, and you're going to be lazy with your editing, you're just going to slap a video together, and you're not going to do the things that keep viewers watching, uh, your video's not going to do well. For your videos to do well, there's, well, there's many things that YouTube look at with the algorithm. Uh, a lot of you would have heard about the algorithm. How do you beat the algorithm? How do you, how do you make videos to beat the algorithm? And basically, uh, to cut a long story short, whichever videos make YouTube the most money are going to be the videos that they push. So, you know, if you don't know how you make money on YouTube, it's basically when they show ads, adverts, advertisements on your videos, uh, you take, I think it's 55%, and YouTube take 45%. So the more ads in your video, the more watch time your video gets, the longer that you keep people on the YouTube platform, the more money you make and the more money YouTube makes. So YouTube are going to promote the videos that make them the most money and keep people on the platform the longest. So how do you get many views? Uh, number one most important thing, and this is a bit controversial, but many YouTubers agree, uh, that one of the most important aspects to get the views is a catching thumbnail and description. You, you need to get people to click on your video, the click-through rate. The more people that click on your video, the more views you're going to get. But it's no good just making a clickbait thumbnail because you also need to get the watch time. So when once people are clicked on the video, you need to keep your audience on that video for as long as possible. The longer you can keep your audience on that video, 
the more YouTube are going to show that video, the more views you're going to get, the more money you're going to make. And you know, and you've also got to look at the watch time percentage. Uh, you know, it's all good and well just just putting up a two hour long video and getting a I don't know a fifteen minute watch time, but then your overall percentage is going to be down. So in an ideal world, you want people to watch one hundred percent of your video, and that doesn't really happen. Uh, you know. Uh, me, for example, I might get 40% watch time, something like that on average. Uh, obviously, the higher you get, if you look at Mr. Beast, he's probably getting more towards 60 to 70% of, of watch time. Uh, so, you know, that's basically how you get views. If you can get your thumbnails clicked on and you can get a long watch time and a high watch time percentage, uh, YouTube are going to push your video and you're going to do well. But you've got to remember, you're fighting, competing against millions and millions of other YouTubers. And... You have to treat this like a full-time job. If you want to take this YouTube game and, and you want to make turn this into a full-time job, you have to treat it like a full-time job. You have to give it the hours or maybe even more hours than you do a full-time job. I mean, if I look at myself personally, I spend many days, 16 hours. Uh, on most days, I spend 16 hours a day making videos. So you've got to plan videos. You got to film videos. Uh, I make mainly I make radio control car videos, so I will break a lot of stuff. So I will spend a lot of time repairing the stuff. I will spend a lot of time uh, fixing the stuff, preparing it. Um, then you then you got to edit the video. Well, you got to go out and shoot the video. You got to film it. You got to drive to the location. Uh, then you got to edit the video. Uh, you got to you got to then upload it. You have to do the, make the thumbnails. You have to all this stuff you got to do. Uh, it's, it's a full-time job and to make a video that's going to get the watch time and, and, and to get YouTube to look at that video and, and to push that video, you got to make a pretty good video. And by a good video, I don't mean a video that you and I think is good. Uh, a good video is a video that the audience in general are going to sit there and watch for a long time. And for that, you have to look at the analytics and see where your audience drop off, all that sort of stuff. But it's a full-time job, guys. And you ask any full-time YouTuber... 99.9% uh, .9 of the time, they're going to tell you it's, it is their full-time job and they spend the whole day making videos, doing nothing else, just making videos. So, you know, if, if you want to be a YouTuber just for fun, you can just do a video a week, that's fine. But if you want to turn it into a full-time business, you want to make a full-time living out of it, you have to treat it like a full-time business and probably even more. I mean, when you've got a nine to five job, you might be doing eight hours a day and you've got the weekends off. If you want to, if you want to grow a big YouTube channel, you, you're going to have to chuck all that out the window. Prepare to do 16 hours a day, seven days a week, at least until you get your channel off the ground. Then maybe you can slow down a little bit. But I notice it with me. If I start uploading less, uh, I start getting a lot less views across the whole channel. Now, realistically, how realistic is it to put that amount of time into a YouTube channel. Because I know most people, they've got full-time jobs. You, you might be at school, you might be at college, you might have full-time jobs. You're already doing eight hours a day. By the time you've got gotten ready, you've brushed your teeth, you've had a shower, and you've come home from work and you've done all the stuff again, traveling to work, it could be 10 hours gone, 11 hours gone. Then you've got to eat and you've got to sleep, and then you want a little bit of downtime to relax and maybe put your feet up before you go to bed. Uh, then you've got the weekend, uh, maybe you could make a couple of videos on the weekend. Maybe you've got other commitments. Maybe you've got family. Maybe you've got friends. Uh, you know, have you got 16 hours, 12 to 16 hours a day to put into your YouTube channel? If you've got a full-time job, you're really going to struggle. So my solution, this is, this is how I got around it. And this is really the only way that I know that, that, I know that works, that you can get around it. Of, of how you can get around doing that nine to five job and giving all that time to making a to growing a YouTube channel and that is eBay. So that's the way that I did it and that is one of the only ways that I can really see as a viable way to if you're if you've got a job or something and you want to get out of that job and you want to give all your time to YouTube. This is the only way that I can really think of that's going to work. So here's here's what I did. So I had my eBay store. And uh, I was making, at the time when I was really, really hitting eBay hard, I was making over 100 grand a year. And uh, it was growing, it was growing and growing and growing and growing. The thing is with eBay, you can give it a lot less time and still make a lot of money with it. 
So, you know, the most time that goes into eBay is when you're actually growing your store, when you're finding new listings, you're finding new products. So it's gonna take a little bit, bit of time to, to build your store and to get all the stuff on there. But once you've got all the products on your store, then it's just a little bit of maintenance and, and doing your shipping and inventory and, and reordering. So, you know, once, you, once you've got your eBay store established, and time frame can be different. For some people, it can take a year. For some people, it can take a couple of months. It's different for everybody. Uh, so uh, what you can do is you start an eBay store alongside your 9 till 5 job. So you don't quit your 9 till 5 job because, you know, if you just quit your job uh, and you think, well, I'm going to do YouTube or I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that, if it doesn't take off right away, and it usually it doesn't, uh, you're not going to have any income coming in and you're going to have to go out and find another job. So what I recommend you, well, I'm not recommending you to do, this is what I do, this is what I did. Um, well, I, well, you can take my advice, you can you cannot. I don't, I don't want to give you financial advice, I don't want you to do what I said and then you go, oh, okay, if I tried it, it doesn't work, everybody's different. You know, I, I might give this advice to one person and it works, I might give the same advice to somebody else and it doesn't work, it's different for everybody. But I would set up an eBay store alongside your nine to five job. And you can give like a couple of hours a day to your eBay store and you can keep growing that and growing that and growing that with a couple of hours a day. And you can do that after work. And um, forget about YouTube altogether for now. I completely forget about YouTube for now. Number one, you need to get out of that nine to five job so you've got the time to do your YouTube. So number one priority is make enough money on eBay so that you can then go and quit your nine to five job now, now you're in a good position. Now you're making more money than you made when you had your job and you've got the whole day. You can spend a couple of hours a day doing your eBay, make more money and spend the rest of the day making YouTube videos. And then you can spend 12 to 16 hours a day. And it, it, this varies between people. You know, it's not 16 hours for everybody. Some people spend more, some people spend a little bit less. But I see so many people, they spend a couple of hours making a YouTube video and then they wonder why, why it never gets any views. Because you're competing with other YouTubers that are giving it their full and, and their all. And if you're just going into it half assed you're never going to get anywhere. Uh, so that, that is the way that I can see, you know, one of the only ways that I can really see which is a suitable way of doing it. Unless you've got something else happening unless you've got maybe your mum or your dad that are supporting your living, uh, unless you've got a whole load of money saved up that you can last for a couple of years. I mean, for me, it, it took me almost three years of YouTubing to really make any any sort of living out of it. I was, I was doing my YouTube videos at a loss for a very long time, and it was my eBay store that was propping me up. My eBay store was paying for my, for, for my rent in the workshop, it was paying for me to live, um, and it was giving me the time to build my YouTube channel. And, and also, it can be very expensive doing YouTubing. I was doing radio control cars. I was breaking a lot of them. I was spending thousands and thousands buying new cars, buying parts, cameras, editing equipment, computers. I spent thousands and thousands and thousands on my YouTube channel before anything came back. And it was only because of my eBay that I could have the time to do it and had the money coming in to sustain it. And then... After, after about three years, it started to become profitable. But it's, it was a lot of hard work. I mean, it was a lot of fun. I mean, I don't even see my YouTubers work. I see it as my hobby. I just so happen to love doing it and really enjoy doing it. So, um, you know, stick about on this channel, guys. If you want some tips on how to do eBay, I've got a whole um, mini, little, mini little eBay course that I've made on this channel uh, where I can teach you guys the basics of doing eBay. I've also got a full paid for eBay course, where I'll teach you guys the whole exact blueprint, everything that I've learned of, of doing eBay. And I've taught this same system, I've taught this same blueprint to hundreds of students, many of which are making thousands every single month. And, um, you know, and I can teach you these exact same principles. I've got testimonials from many ha happy uh, students, and I can teach you the exact same stuff. You know, I've put years and years of research uh, and learning and speaking to other people that do eBay and testing and reading books and taking other online courses or figuring all this stuff out and I've compiled it all into my own course. And, um, you know, it, obviously it's not going to work for everybody. Some people, they get into the program and they never even take a look. Other people have a little look and they procrastinate and they never take action. Other people, they follow the step-by-step -step guide and they build successful eBay stores and they can quit their job. So it's different for everybody. 
Uh, so, also, I have a YouTube course. Now, YouTube, the YouTube course, I can only recommend that if you're really going to take it seriously. Like, this course is a little bit more expensive, but you have to be 110% committed. Most people fail at YouTube. You can expect to spend two to three years before you really make any money at all. Doing eBay, I've got, I've got students, students making money on the first couple of weeks. I've got other students, they're, they're, making, they're quitting their jobs a year in. It's, it's different for everybody. When I first started doing eBay seriously, uh, I was making job quitting money, you know, roughly a couple of grand a month, only about three or four months in. It wasn't that long. And I was growing my eBay store by a third every single month. And, you know, these results are typical with people that follow my guide. I'm not, you know, as I said, I'm not promising this is going to work with everybody. Everybody's different. Different people have got different levels of motivation. Some people procrastinate. Some people are lazy. Uh, some people can't follow instructions. It's different for everybody. But on all of my programs, I've got a 100% money back guarantee as long as it's within 30 days. Uh, and there's no questions asked. One email you've got to send, you get your money back. You know, I'm not here to make maximum money out of people. I'm here to help as many people as I can. And if I help people build a life of their dreams so they can quit their jobs, they can have a nice house, they can have nice cars, uh, then it's only fair that everybody gets rewarded too. But at the same time, I'm only happy to take people's money if they're actually going to use this stuff to change their life. That's why I offer that refund guarantee. People can go into the program, they can have a look, they can give it a go, they can try it all out. Unlimited. If I don't like it, one email. Kev, I want a refund. It's not for me. Oh, you'll get your money back instantly. Uh, so I've actually got a special offer on at the moment. Uh, I've made something called the bundle. And in this bundle is everything that I know about making money online. I mean, just if you look at my YouTube channel, for example, I, I monetize my YouTube channel in many different ways. It's not just the advert revenue. There's also on top of that, there's merchandise that you can make and sell. Uh, there's affiliate marketing that you can do. There's brand deals, there's sponsored deals. Uh, there's online courses you can make as well. There's many different ways that you can monetize a YouTube channel. And all this is in my course, The Bundle. Uh, so everything that I know about making money, everything that I've learned over the years, everything is in this bundle. And also, there's also a mindset program, uh, The 75 Habits, that I've included in this whole bundle. Uh, basically, what this is, it's all mindset stuff. The other two things, the YouTube, the, the eBay, uh, the affiliate marketing, all that stuff, that's all practical. But to succeed in business, you also uh, need the theory. You need the mindset. Uh, because most people, they have a 9 to 5 job. They operate in that sort of 99% mindset. And if and everybody's got that mindset that, you know, that, that grows up in an average family. That's the same mindset that I had. Uh, but it's this very mindset that holds you back and it stops you from succeeding in other businesses. So you need to sort of almost forget about everything that you've learned uh, and you've got to start again. And I've read many books from, from many multimillionaires. I've taken many online courses from multimillionaires. I've watched hundreds, thousands of YouTube videos. Uh, I speak to many multimillionaires. And as, as I've sort of learned more of these habits and traits... Uh, that, the, that the successful people have, my businesses and my bank account have just been going up and up and up and up. You can have all the skill set in the world. If you haven't got the right mindset, you will not make any money. It can't work. And it's the same with the mindset. If you've, if you've got the right mindset, but you haven't got any skills, you're also not going to make any money and you're also not going to succeed. So you need both. So that is why in that bundle, I've put everything in there. Everything that I know, I've, I've put it into this bundle. So you can just take this program and it's all just videos. You just sit there, you watch a video a day. Uh, I've even put notes under each video so you can go back to each video and you can, you can get the notes, you can get what the video is about without having to watch each video again. It's that simple. And you can watch these videos forever. Uh, they're never going to be taken down. Uh, I, update, I also update these programs, you know, as I learn new things myself, uh, as things, as new things come out and as stuff becomes obsolete, I keep the courses updated uh, so they're always fresh. You know, you, you pay once, you're in the program, uh, unless you want that 30-day uh, money-back guarantee, then you just got to hit me up that one email. And that way, it gives everybody a chance 
to go in the program, have a look, see if it's what they want. If I don't like it, one email, get the money back. As I said, I'm not here to make maximum money out of you guys. I'm here to help as many people as I can, and we all make more money together, and everybody's happy. I'm not interested in making any money out of people that don't want to do this stuff. It's not fair. I'm a person of being fair. I've always been fair, and I want the world to be fair. So that is, that is it for this video, guys. Uh, if it sounds like something that you want, uh, the better life is out there. It is in your own hands, and it's up to you to take action and, and take a look and, and see if maybe this is for you. Yeah, maybe it isn't for you. Maybe it is. But if you don't have a look, you won't know. And, you know, with a refund guarantee, you can, you can have a look completely risk-free. You know, if you don't like it, you don't like it. If you like it and it works out and you build a better life, you know, just imagine you can quit that dreaded 9 to 5 job. You can, you can have the houses and the cars that you've always wanted. You're working for yourself. You're, you're just living your own life. And that life is out there for those that take action. And the ball is in your court. It's whether you take action or not. It's up to you. Anybody can do it, but not everybody will. Not everybody has the mindset and the willingness to, to push through and to do it. So, you know, if, if you have it in you or not, uh, you got to the end of the video, maybe you have. But, you know, have a look in the program, take a look. If it's for you, great. If it's not for you, then there's nothing to lose. You just carry on with your life and, and, and just, just be happy. That is it for this video, guys. Uh, I will see you on the inside, if it's, if it's for you. If not, I'll just see you in, in another video. Bye.